This is Star Talk. Okay, so this is somebody who wants to know about the atmosphere and the gravity on Mars. Mm-hmm. But I love the way that Stephen Matlow uh, phrases this question, somewhat inventive. And this came over which, which this, path? This came over Facebook. Mm-hmm. And he says, okay, Neil, when the New York Yankees play <laughs> a road series against the Mars Cosmos... <laughs> Okay. How big will the outfield have to be to prevent everybody from hitting home runs? Also, will the pitcher throw faster in the atmosphere or slower? And will he or she, this guy's very liberal. Nice. He's got a female pitcher in the major league mm-hmm. interstellar uh, uh, interplanetary, Inter- interplanetary, mm-hmm. not interstellar, interplanetary baseball league. Will, she, will he or she be able to throw a curve Ball mm-hmm. and he um take it back. Stephen is coming from Livingston, Montana. Livingston, Montana. Yes. Whoa. Yes. Flat country. Uh, now here's something. Guy I- never seen a mountain in his life. <laughs> That's why it's called Montana. <laughs> <Yes. Okay. laughs> so uh, I was in Montana recently. I gave a talk yeah. in Bozeman, Montana. Oh really? Yep. Six thousand yeah. people. Yeah. Showed up for it. Nice. I didn't know that many people lived in Montana. Uh, I think you had the entire state there, <laughs> to be honest. And by the way, I was joking about uh, mountains, because there are mountains in Montana. That's why it's called Montana. Yeah, exactly. Mon- it's Big Sky. As big Sky. It's, it's Big Sky, big but sky. Yeah, there are mountains in Montana. But uh, go ahead. Uh, so th- th- here's this question. How, uh, I, I got the question. I oh, remember it. Oh, you read it. I got oh, it. Well, I have a good memory. Me. Excuse me. I have an awesome memory from <laughs> three minutes ago. I know. <laughs> so, so... Um, A couple of things don't change and other things do. Okay. The pitcher does not throw faster because that's just their musculoskeletal capacity to do so. All right. The ball will not slow down as much between release of the fingertip and crossing home plate because the air is thinner and there is air resistance to the ball. Right. That slows it down. I don't know. It may be. 10 miles an hour or five, whatever it is, five miles an hour. It's not traveling for very long, so it, but it will slow down a little bit. It does that in the majors. Uh, it will do that on Mars, but it'll slow down by a little bit less. A little bit less. But that's not the major thing going on here. The Martian atmosphere is very thin. Gotcha. It's like 1% of our thickness. And it's the air, the movement of the ball through the air that enables it to curve. Right. So curveballs would be very hard on Mars. Because you don't have the air or the thickness the of the thickness air. The thickness of the air. For those, those what are they called? Stitches. Stitches, yes. Right? <laughs> is that what they call? Is that what they call the stitches on the ball? The stitches? They call them the stitches. The stitches? Yeah. <laughs> Do they call the stitches on the ball the stitches? Yes. <laughs> but, you know, that's what's causing that rotation. Well, it, it, it assists it. Even it if it didn't have stitches, you'd it, still have you'd still some, move. you could still move it, right? Oh, really? Okay. Oh, yeah. but, the stitches help it, definitely. But without the... The thickness of the air, you can't get that movement? Uh, you don't get as much movement. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't get as much movement. Now, it is windy on Mars, so you could throw an awesome knuckleball. Nice. Because knuckleballs don't rotate, and so they're not stable moving through the air. Right. So rotating things are stabilized. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, that's why footballs, a rotating exactly, football is stable. It's spinning. Spinning. Okay, so uh, a, a knuckleball does not spin. Therefore, it is susceptible to any possible puff of air. That comes across its so path. So you could use a a windy day knuckleball to create the 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 effect of a curveball. Well, yeah, but it it'll, it'll curve in a way that you can't predict, and right. that's why catchers are always dropping knuckleballs because gotcha. they don't know where the hell yeah, the, it, the, 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 the you know the, the ball's jiggling and wiggling and, right. and it comes in, and so uh, the number of pass balls. Past knuckleballs by a by a catcher mm-hmm. is, is huge relative to other pitchers because it's a, a surprise ball. It's a surprise ball for everybody, right? Even the pitcher. A curveball, the catcher calls for the curveball, so they right. know. So he knows what he's doing. Yeah, they know where, where it's coming. So, See, so this those is what are I love. This is what I love about you, man. I mean, this. I, I swear to God. See, th- this is what's great. We're talking about baseball on Mars, but yet you know all this crap about baseball. <laughs> Well, how does this happen? <laughs> no, you know what it is. It's not like I mean, but I like who? Do, I'm uh, I'm a red blooded American. I like me some baseball and hot dogs. Okay? okay, and apple pie. All right. So just start there. Okay. Okay. So now the rest of it is just because I go to a baseball game and I'm curious about it. 
Like I just ask questions of the game and of myself relevant to the game. Gotcha. So for example, I say to myself, suppose you're hit by a pitch on ball four. Right. You ought to be able to go to second base. <laughs> right? Uh, <laughs> exactly. I'm just saying. Yeah, true. I'm just saying. No, that makes sense okay. when you think about it. I'm just, right. These are the kind of questions I asked about the game. That's very funny. Okay. Yeah. So uh, now. Uh, <laughs> we got to get that rule in baseball. That's awesome. Okay. So now, uh, how far, how big a f stadium would you have to make? M Martian gravity is about 40% of Earth's gravity. Okay. So if you weigh 100 pounds on Earth, you weigh 40 pounds, pounds on, on or 38 Mars. pounds on Mars. Gotcha. So two pounds, you weigh 80 pounds, which is great because the muscles that you have for carrying a 200 pound body uh, will now be operating in an 80 pound body. So you'd be able to jump higher. Okay. Yeah. You'd be able to, yeah. So there's, so maybe you'd make the infield a little bigger because you'd be leaping, uh, you know, you'd have to sort of adjust that. There'd be some trial and error on this right. to get the ideal field size. Now, when you hit a home run, the ball is doing two things. It's going forward and it's going upwards. Up. Right. Okay. And then it finishes going upwards and then it starts coming downwards while it's still going forwards. Right. Each of those have a different effect. Okay. How far you, how fast you can hit the thing going forward has nothing to do with being on Mars. Okay. That's just how, how fast did you swing right. back? That's your, that's your swing okay. strength. It's your swing strength. Now the Mars, the ball going up. Okay. The same force will have the ball go higher. Correct. Than on earth which means it will travel farther simply because it'll go higher. Right. All right. And so you got to do the math. I haven't done the math on that. So well, I yeah. You, you I don't have, if I were to guess, uh, you know, make it 40% bigger. I mean, just as, well, yeah, as, as a first as cut. As a general rule. Just a first just cut. Just a first cut. And probably if I do the math, there are some adjustments in there. Right. So a 400 dead center field, a 40% greater than that would be 160 more feet. And is that right? Yeah, four times. Yeah, 160 more feet. So it'd be 560 feet dead center. Right. To just to recreate the, same, recreate the same likelihood, likelihood of, a, of a home run. Now, 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 that means outfield is huge. Right. Which means you got to have some fast outfielders. <laughs> that is true. You might have to add two more outfielders to it. Yeah, that's because exactly. it, 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 it fans out from home plate. Right. right? So if you if it's if it's five hundred sixty dead center. You know, you're you're gonna be missing a lot of balls unless yeah. you be like Little League. You had a fourth outfielder. <laughs> <laughs> you might need two more outfielders, dude. That's amazing. And, hey, and, and a shoestring catch would be awesome because you would jump and you just keep, keep going. You just keep going. exactly. <laughs> Just out of the stadium, <laughs> in, into the locker room. <laughs> what a catch, and he's in the showers. That's fantastic, man. So hey, they, Stephen, what a fascinating question. There man. you go. That was great. Mm -hmm. Great, great, great stuff. All right, let's... Um, By the way, I, would, I don't know if I'd call him the Martian Cosmos. Why, why not call him like the Martian... Hmm. Uh, there's got to be a better name for it than just Cosmos. Plus, uh, you know... <laughs> Mm -hmm. Finally, uh, the World Series would apply to something Wait, other than the United the, States. The, the, the Mars Reds. The we Reds. Have the, the, we have the Cincinnati Reds. Yeah. How about the Mars Reds? The Mars are much more justifiably much, called the Reds. Exactly. Right. Uh, you know the, where the red color comes from? It comes from rust on the Martian surface. Is that just, why is it iron? Iron, iron on the Martian surface. Oxidized iron. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So the Mars Reds would be good. Yeah, the Mars Reds. There yeah. you go. Yeah. Can't wait to buy tickets to that game. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Bring oxygen, buddy. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> this is Star Talk.